Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 20 of our bootcamp series. In the last video, we discussed about the conditional blocks in general and in the sense of programming and we saw some example to understand the working of a conditional flow. In this video, we will discuss about the if else statement in Ruby. So we will break it like if and then we will go to if else. So if else is a type of conditional block in Ruby that make decision to execute the code if the comparison result is true. So let's try to understand it here. Suppose uh, I am taking a number from the user, let's say, sorry, gets the to i, let's print. the number now if i want to check that whether this number is equal to 3 or not okay so let's say a equal equal to 3 and if it is true then sorry if a equal equal to 3 then it should print number is correct okay. and just close the block. Save the file and execute. Enter the number. So if let's say I display 10, then it returns nothing or it does not print anything. Why? Because I'm only executing this puts statement when the number is 3 or the provided number equal to 3 once it is less than 3 or greater than 3 the puts number is correct will not be executed now execute this again let's say here i have added 3 okay so the number is correct so what we can see here is that the if statement only executes the code if the condition is true or the comparison is true which we are providing to the if statement so this if statement is checking that whether the number provided by user is equal to 3 or not so if it is not 3 or if it is uh, in false comparison then the number is correct will not display but, but when it is correct or it is true the condition result is true then it will print the number is correct result Okay, now similarly you can uh, try it another way like uh, just only print the number if it is even or odd. Okay, so let's try with even. Okay. So whenever a number is divided by 2 should be even so we will check here that whether the number provided by user is even or not so what to do here is even now nothing is print why because 3 is not even 3 is a odd number and our condition is only matching a percent 2 equal to 0 so once the result has been 0 then it will or the remainder is 0 then it will execute the number is even statement now let's provide here and now you can see that number is even okay so in both examples that we saw like checking the equality of a number or getting the remainder of a number what we saw that the code executes inside the if block only if the condition is true but uh, nothing has been happened when the condition is false but uh, in some scenarios you need to display at least some message or you need to display some con uh, code which should execute upon the comparison fails okay or when the if statement fails to or if it statement give the result false then you must uh, execute some code then you need to use else statement okay 
so here handle this situation like puts now just check this example if the user provided number is divided by 2 and reminder is 0 then the number is even but if user provided number has reminder 1 5 1 okay then it should be odd number okay now let's try this if i provided 10 you can see the number is even if i provided 9 you can see okay nothing happened here let me check okay let's save the file i forget to save it if i provide 10 number is even if i provided 9 the number is odd you can clearly see that what the else statement does here okay so here using else statement with this we are using else statement you can see the output even if the if condition fails okay or else is only used when if condition fails to return some output because in real world scenario you might face uh, so many uh, situations where you have to make two you have to make two decision you have two decisions but you have to make only one choice so if this condition fails then you have to go for that and if this condition is true then you have to go for that so in that case you need to implement the if and else okay now you can also handle a chain of if else if okay like uh, for example uh, if uh, user has given if you are having three numbers okay like a b c then you have to print like which number is uh, greater than 10 okay just consider an example let's say you have 10 here you have 20 here you have 30 here okay and now you have to make decision that uh, which number is greater than let's say 40 so how you can make this like uh, if a is greater than 40 puts greater than 40 but here we cannot make else why because we have to go through all the numbers so here you can make like if else if b is greater than 40 puts b is greater than 40 now if both a and b fails uh, or returns true when comparing with the 40 then you can print like else c greater than 40 then puts is greater than 40 now you can end it okay or in else conditions sorry let's make else if here as well because it is possible that none of them is greater than 40 so in that case you can print like puts Better than 40 so it's better to check with users so now let's execute this here the terminal none of them is greater than 40 why because you can see here that a is 10 b is 20 and c is 30 
so the first if checking that whether a is greater than 40 so if a greater than 40 condition fails okay then it switches to else if b greater than 40 condition fails again and it switches to another if that is uh, if else if c greater than 40 then the condition fails again and now it comes to the else part so it happens uh, it else if required when you have chaining of condition there or a lot of condition that you have to check for example in this simple example you can uh, consider uh, we can uh, clearly understand that uh, we need to display which number is greater than 40 else we need to display that nothing is greater than 40 so we need to make here a series of if however you if you wish you can divide it into multiple or separate if else statement as well but uh, it's better to use else if for uh, chaining such kind of conditions okay so that's all about uh, the basics of if else statement from this video so i hope this video gives you the enough idea about uh, if else and else if to move ahead and of course you can practice this at your end more to get much better with the if else and conditional flow so now this is the question time so very simple questions that what is if statement what when do we need to use else statement and when we need to use uh, else if statement what happen if the condition in the if statement always returns true and what happen if the condition in the if statement always returns false so it does not look like uh, it it does not mean like uh, when condition always returns uh, false true in the while loop or until loop it uh, always uh, uh, executed infinitely so if uh, if a statement always returns true then the code inside the if block already always executed and if the condition inside if statement returns false then the code inside the if statement will never get executed so you need to write your or you need to prepare or design your if statements comparison carefully because if it is never get executed then that is that seems to be useless part inside the code so you need to be careful about that and just carefully make the conditions so that's all from this video and uh, till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe